kids, sometimes when you're about to give up on your love life forever for the 17th time, destiny intervenes. Instead of rushing in, I took my time to think up the perfect opening line. Wait, no, Nima, come back! You're really, you're pretty! Oh my god, it's you! It happened. The first thing I did was list out all the details I remembered about you. Is that a yellow legal pad? Yeah, I've even got a backup. Oh my god. You had a tweed blazer and chalk all over your hands, so I figured you were either a professor or a British gymnast. I'm bloody good on the pommel horse. So then I asked the lady at the student center where I could find the youngest, cutest professor on staff. And? She sent me to a physics class. Professor Laybourne? Then she sent me here, but the security guard wouldn't let me in without an ID. I was about to give up when the fire alarm just sent you out. It was like... Destiny. Unlike Uncle Barney, I wasn't the kind of guy to fixate on one little detail. That fire alarm, did you pull it? This is embarrassing. I wasn't gonna tell you this, but... I'd come so far only to be sent packing by that security guard and, well... I'm sorry, I just couldn't stand the idea of not meeting you. I keep digging and digging. Did you start a fire? <sighs> this is embarrassing. I wasn't gonna tell you this, but... I'd come so far only to be sent packing by that security guard and, well... I'm sorry, I just couldn't stand the idea of not meeting you. I followed you to that bookstore. How long have you been following me? Yeah, uh, this is embarrassing. Uh, remember when you were on the cover of New York Magazine? That was like a year and a half ago. Yeah. And that someone was Jeanette. What made Jeanette so special? Well... That was a foul! Jeanette was the last girl I dated before I met your mother. The girl who finally got me to say... No more dating. I'm ready to settle down. And you wouldn't flip out. I will kill you, Rap! I will kill you in front of all of these people! Oh, boy. What, you think I won't just because I'm in a public place? I'll go to jail for the rest of my life if I have to! <laughs> that kid. Am I right? <laughs> now look who forgot his keys. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you have to leave. In a minute! Where's that coming from? Is that you, Dolores? Jeanette? Hey, girl, how you been? Oh, you know, I'm just doing me. Anyway, I'll check out that 1090. Okay, but remember. I know, no excessive force. Last thing I need is another suspension, am I right? <laughs> and that, kids, was how I found out what Jeanette did for a living. I think we need to talk. Oh, okay. I see where this is going. You're in love with Lily. That's it, isn't it? What? No, I... Like I should be surprised with her fancy medical degree and her 67 draw. What? She's not... Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. I hate you, and I never want to see you again. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. I hate you, and I never want to see you again. Listen, Jeanette, we really need to have a serious talk about her. So, did Lily leave these boots here, or was it some other bitch? Marshall Barney, help me! I don't think they're coming. Guess not. You are really something special. I'm gonna send Lily a dead animal in the mail. I think I'm falling for you. I think we should have a three-way with my therapist. He's 70. What is your ring size? Oh, I trashed your apartment. See, I got bored, so I started going through all your emails. Sure. And I found one from a woman with the subject line, Big Penis Orgasm. So naturally, I smashed your plates, knifed your mattress, peed in your drawers, the whole nine. But then, while I was upper decking your toilet, I actually read the email. Turns out, it was spam! Hey, come here, you knucklehead. I can't stay mad at you. Ted, Ted I'm breaking up with you. You're just so intense, and it's all moving way too fast. Here's your key back. I never gave you a key. And here's your grandmother's ring. She was buried wearing this. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I got a feeling from here on out, it's gonna be nothing but blue skies and... What the hell is this? <laughs> and for the grand finale, I found your fireworks. Let's see what they do to your precious playbook. No. So I was at your apartment stealing your mail, and apparently there's some chick named Victoria sending you jewelry from Germany? Somebody owes somebody an explanation. Fine. Meet me at the Bow Bridge in Central Park in one hour. 
And by the way, I want Kenny back. Who's Kenny? My pet tarantula. <laughs> I'm heading over to the east side to stuff a dead squirrel into a different ex-boyfriend's mailbox, so, you know, this made sense. Ted, listen to me. You're being crazy. I'm being crazy? Yes. How long have you been hung up on Robin? Eight years? And you're still killing yourself to fetch dumb little trinkets for her. That's crazy. That's more than crazy. I don't think there's a word for what that is. So please, can I have the locket? I think we should get back together. Jeanette was arrested for mailing jars of urine to Val Kilmer. No, not that Val Kilmer. She narrowly avoided prison time, but did receive mandatory psychological counseling. Wow, handsome. I should say up front, I'm not allowed to date my... Oh, what the hell. She and... I figured it out! I know it's so creepy. Ah! Yeah. Observe. The bottom half of his face is smiling. Look, he seems happy. Seems like a nice guy. But the top half of his face no! wants to murder you. Cheerful. No! Wants to murder you. No, cheerful. No! Wants to murder you.